Hello everyone, I'm Keith Armour. I'm the Education and Homework Support Manager down here in the Adult Learning Center at the main library. Um, thanks for tuning in. Today's Lunch and Learn, we're going to talk about all of the great materials that we have to help everyone celebrate uh, Black History Month. We have more than 10 ways, even though I'm going to start out with just 10 different ways you can help celebrate uh, Black History Month. So we're going to check that out, and then we're going to check out some other events that are happening around the library as well. So let's go ahead and dive into Lunch and Learn. All right, we've arrived at our website, CincinnatiLibrary.org. We're going to click right here to the top 10 ways to celebrate Black History Month with the Cincinnati Hamilton County Public Library. Now, this is a blog post, so a lot of times on our front page of our, our main page, it rotates. So we'll be uh, providing a link to this blog post um, for you to have, so you don't have to search for it. But you can always search right at the top as well. All right, so these are the top 10, but I'm gonna show you a little bit more than just 10 ways that you can help celebrate uh, Black History Month. There is a going to be on uh, February the 20th, along with our partners at the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center, and it's for adults. It's the um, it's their annual African American Read In, and it's going virtual this year. So um, we'll definitely provide a link for that, so you can go and sign up for that. That's happening on February the 20th. There's going to be some very special story times that are gonna feature books um, chosen just for Black History Month. Um, so definitely check that out. Um, our children's librarians have done a wonderful job and um, they'll continue to do that along the way. This is the second event for Race in the City series. It's, um, it's critical conversations about the roots of systematic racism in Cincinnati. And it's based on this book right here, Race in the City, Work, Community, and Protest in Cincinnati from 1820 to 1970. Now you can actually listen to the chapters on YouTube before February the 24th, so you'll be up to speed and know a little bit more and understand a little bit more for these critical conversations. So definitely check that out on February the 24th. Um, I love Throwback Thursdays when it comes to our Facebook page. Um, we post a lot of great things um, from our great, wonderful genealogy and local history department. And they're actually, um, for Black History Month, for February, they're actually going back into um, Black Cincinnati's past and putting up a lot of great things um, that are part of our collection. Um, at the public library, but also about our community at large. So definitely check that out. There is a wonderful um, branch manager, and we have a lot of wonderful branch managers, but at West End, uh, Key Parks is absolutely outstanding. If you've ever met her, you'll understand why I say that. Um, but she has been documenting for the past year stories of residents um, from our historically black neighborhood of West End. And so you can check that out. Um, we've got several podcasts on there. There's West End uh, Project Podcast, and I'll make sure that there's a link for that as well. And then at North Central, um, they're doing a take and make black history bingo. So you can check that out. And then, of course, Beyond Black History Month scavenger hunt is happening as well. So you want to check that out here on this page. Um, we have a nice, great selection of urban fiction, but we also have an urban fiction book club um, that's going to meet on February the 25th. So you might want to check that out. And then, of course, we're going to explore um, some other library materials um, that are going to focus on Black History Month. So let's go ahead and dive in. And of course, there's before that, before the, I say that um, we go there, uh, beyond the library, there's a whole bunch of things that are going on. Of course, I've mentioned the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center, but there's also the Harriet Beecher Stowe House and the Black uh, Family and Generational Health. So check that out as well on here. But we're gonna to go to the top 
and we're going to go to books and media and stream download now this weekend is supposed to be very very cold and i thought this past weekend was cold so even though our libraries will be open um you might want to just stay home and when you can stay home and just click um, and go to our e-content, um, which is a huge collection, um, definitely um, I would pick that option instead of getting out in the weather. All right, now, remember that Libby and Overdrive are basically the same thing. Um, they have two different apps um, for Overdrive and Libby, but it's the same collection of materials. They have an app from the Apple Apple Store and also for Google Play for the Androids, okay? Um, so you, we're going to go to the browser here. And the very first thing you notice when I come up, now I'm going to go back to the main collection first. This is the adult collection, and you'll notice there's a green strip here. This is the adult collection, and at the very f top here, it has Black Voices, and it's Celebrate Black History Month by reading, learning from, and enjoying the works of Black Voices. Um, this past year, my book club uh, read The Vanishing Half. Excellent book. Um, it takes place over a long period of time, has some very deep conversations, so definitely check that out. Um, but if I click up here for See All, you'll notice that there's 324 in this collection. And remember, if it says available, that means it's available. <laughs> All right, if you wanna click here, you'll find several different things that are great about this. Number one, there's one of 79 copies available, all right? Um, you can look at the description and just click here and it opens up a little bit more so you can read about what the book is going to be about. You can look at the details and of course you can look at some of the reviews. You can read some of the reviews that are out there. Now, one thing that I always love is this read a sample. So if you click here, you can actually see a sample of the book and you can read several pages of the book as well. And I find that very helpful to see if I'm gonna be really into a book. Now I'm gonna click back out because I've already read that book. Now you can check out the any material that's available, you can check out for seven, 14, or 21 days. You get to choose. Um, another great book right here from Mr. Whitehead, The Nickel Boys, and some other ones as well, An American Marriage, that was a good book. Um, and don't forget, um, this means that it's an ebook, and this means it's an audio book. So if I click here on audio, same thing, you can see the entire summary of the book. But well, one thing that I kind of like to check out is right here when it says details. And this will actually tell me how long the book is. So nine hours, that's a really, well, it's a, first of all, it's a great book. Um, but it also, um, you've got nine hours. You definitely have nine hours. And you can even listen to a sample of the book as well. All right and wonderful narrator for this book as well, because I, I listened, I think I just listened to that book. All right, I'm gonna go back to the main collection here. All right, now I'm gonna click over here to the teen section. And you'll notice the, the words up here is teens, obviously, and the color is a little different as well. And um, right here, celebrate Black History Month by reading um, Black authored hits. And here is another collection that you can check out. There's eBooks and there's audio books as well. So you can check that out. I'm gonna click back one and we'll go to the kids section. And of course you can read a book, a read books about Valentine's Day fun. You, we had a bunch of snow days, <laughs> snow days this week. But right here, celebrating civil rights. Um, it's very important to understand our history. 
um, as a country and um, understand other people's history as well um, and how that affects us even today. So if I click right here, there are 114 here that's going to talk about some wonder, wonderful heroes. There's John Lewis there, some other people in the past that you might not be that familiar with, Ida B. Wells, and you've got all sorts of books right here. It gives you a good understanding of the civil rights movement, but more importantly, this is a great book to have a conversation with your children uh, with, have, the, have a conversation with them about um, civil rights and why it's very important to treat each other um, with um, respect and kindness. And speaking of that, there's a whole section on kindness material as well here, okay? So definitely check that out. Um, I think that's it's a great collection um, and it gives you a lot of different choices as well here. So we're gonna go back up to the stream and download and I'm gonna go over here to Hoopla. Now Hoopla has a whole bunch of things as well. And remember when you're outside the library, you have to put in your library card number and then your PIN. If you don't have a library card, um, don't forget to give us a call at 513-369-6900 for a moment there. I forgot what the number was. All right, Black History Month for kids. If I click right here, here's a whole selection. There's actually 54 here, audiobooks about uh, black history. Um, it talks about um, some great um, heroes um, and people that are still with us and people from our past as well. So definitely check that out. And those are always available in Hoopla. Now I'm gonna go back one. And I know I'm, I'm trying to get through all of them because we have such a huge collection. And if I keep clicking here, Right here is Black History Month. If I click here, now these books are more for the adults. Uh, and there are 79 selections here. Um, of course, Jackie Robinson. You've got um, Barack Obama. And you, of course, have uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Um, you have other people, Claretta Scott. Um, don't forget about her, Ella Fitzgerald. Oh my goodness gracious, is it, wasn't she a wonderful singer? And um, definitely check these out as well. Um, and remember, they're always available. And you get to have them um, for a, a long period of time as well. So definitely check that in, uh, under Hoopla. Now we're gonna scroll down. We're still in the stream and download section. But we're going to come down here to Freegal. Now, Freegal, again, has an app that is for um, Apple products and also for Android products as well. But we're going to go to the browser. We have such a huge collection. And we, of course, have our Valentine's Day playlist here. But I'm going to click up here. And right here is our Black History Month playlist. And if you click there... There was even a playlist for this, the Super Bowl, um, okay? But this is a wonderful playlist of all sorts, uh, a really great collection of, book, of, of music. Um, and what's great about Freegal is, of course, you can download some of these songs. I think it's like five songs each each week that you can download. But what I'm pointing out here is this is a perfect... Uh, mix a perfect playlist to actually stream. You can stream this directly from your device, from your app on your smart device. Um, you could even stream it to a, um, a Bluetooth speaker. You could um, hook it up to CarPlay in your car and you could actually listen to the Black History Month playlist. It's a great playlist. Um, I highly check, I really highly recommend that you check that out as well. And that's from Freegal. And we would love people to always remember Freegal. Now, I'm going to go back to the main page. So let me click here. 
because I'm running out of time and I'm going to go to research databases. Now I'm going to click on homework help because you might be needing to help your child or you might want to know a little bit more about um, some famous African-American individuals um, or your child might need to do a um, report on um, a very famous individual. So we're going to go to biography in context. And remember, when you're outside the library, you'll actually have to put in your library card and your pen. Right here, wonderful uh, writer of the play Raisin in the Sun. Um, there's, of course, Hank Aaron, who we just recently lost. And there's the wonderful artist Jacob Lawrence, who did a huge um, beautiful collection of uh, pictures about the Great Migration. And then, of course, you have our one of our brand new senators from Georgia, Warnock um, uh, from Georgia, and you can learn about him as well here. So there's a canopy, uh, a calliope that just kind of goes through um, different famous individuals. And you can look right down here. There's all sorts of different um, individuals here. We've got notable women. Here's the here's Ida B. Wells right down here. But there's also up here African Americans. Um, there's 480 here in this collection. And you have Stacey Abrams. You can click right there. You can learn all about Stacey. Um, she was actually, she's actually younger than me. That's so depressing. And she has done so much. You can read more about Stacy right here. And there you can send it to your Google Drive. You can email it. You can print it. You can download all of this information. So then if your child is doing a, a report about a very famous individual, uh, I highly recommend Stacy Abrams. She is unbelievable and check that out okay so that's something else that you can do um, check out uh, wonderful people in um, biography and context and you can check out all sorts of different individuals there's actually over I think there's over 12,000 people in here. It's an unbelievable amount of um, stuff. So let's check out some of the events that are happening. Let me click back here. Oh, I'm just clicking everywhere. Oh, before I forget, um, if you want to, um, you can all, we'll put a link for this as well. This is Printable Valentines. Uh, you can print and download some Valentines that you can um, have for this this coming weekend. Um, I went ahead and uh, bookmarked this. These are all of our events that um, center around uh, Black History Month. And so we've got our Black History Month scavenger hunt. Uh, we've got bingo. We've got uh, make and take kit. We have um, all sorts of different things here as well. And then some other events that are going on this coming weekend. Um, we've got um, a community uh, poetry project that's happening for adults. We've got drop-in, I spy, snowflakes. We've got pin pal. We've got uh, junior explorers. We have all sorts of different things that are happening in the library and also things that are happening virtually as well. Now, I do want to go back to the main page. My website will let me. Here we go. And I want to scroll right down here. And don't forget we have vaccine um, update information right here. So you can look at some of the uh, latest information when it uh, pertains to uh, mainly Ohio. And then you've got current services here. Um, read and watch this week always rotates and changes some of our databases. But right down here, is stay in and check out. And it is our winter checkout challenge for adults. And don't forget, you um, can actually, if you can track it online or print a, have a print tracking card so you can check out some of those books, uh, some of those ebooks and e audio books, and track that. And this is for our adults for winter checkout. And we've got some great prizes 
and you can do five out of these 10 uh, challenges here. And if you turn everything in, you get those five done before the end of the month, you will also get a, a Winter Checkout Challenge 2021 tote bag. So definitely check that out. Um, we have a great collection of materials. And I know that February is an awfully short month um, just to celebrate uh, Black Hist History Month. But the great thing about our library collection is, is all of these materials will be available throughout the year, not just in one special month. Our collection is a very diverse collection of materials and we wanna always celebrate our, the diversity in our community and we wanna embrace it at the same time. Um, I'm gonna click out and tell you a few more things. Like I told you, there's more than 10 ways to celebrate Black History Month here at the library using your library card. Um, don't forget, you can always download um, the Freegal, um, stream those uh, Black History uh, playlist, and also the uh, Valentine's playlist as well for free. That's why it's called Freegal. Uh, there are several different events that are coming up that I really want to point out, and that is a of course, February the 20th with the association with the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center. We're having that read in, so definitely check that out for everyone to join in. And of course, the second of um, the second time we're going to have a discussion about the book Race in the City. That's happening on February the 24th. And think about all of the wonderful things that are happening beyond the library, but it's going to be cold this weekend, so make sure that you stay in. You can download music, you can download books, you can download all sorts of different things um, to not only celebrate uh, Black History Month, but also um, celebrate having your library card and everything's for free. I'll see you next week. We're going to talk about some of my favorite things uh, since it is Valentine's Day uh, next week. We're going to celebrate next Thursday some of my favorite things that you can find on the website. All right. I'll see you next week for Lunch and Learn.